Hey dudes. It's Maddie and today I thought that I'd show you guys what I got. It'll be a little bit of a haul. I'm kind of honestly really tired and I just thought this would be a little bit of a quick little thing I could film. I recently went to LA which is why I went shopping. These are all either from my mom, grandma, or dad because that's just how this is. So yeah, let's just get into this video. By the way, I have filmed two different videos today and neither of them ended up working out well. The first one, I was trying to do a full face of products that I'd never used before, and it ended up turning out really bad. And then I tried to film this video about 10 minutes ago, and then realized that my SD card filled up, so I could not film. So that really sucked. Oh, by the way, I realized that my SD card was full after I started filming, so that sucked. First off, I'm going to show you guys what I got from Brandy Melville, The Basic Girls Heaven is what I like to call it. First off, I got this pack of hair clips. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hair clips. I thought that these would look really cute if I put my hair up in like a bun or a ponytail or anything like that. Obviously, I can't put my hair in a bun right now because it's super short. I just got it cut. But later, in like a few months, when my hair is long enough, these will come in handy. I just think that these will totally spice up any look that I'm wearing and make my hair look really awesome and it'll look a little bit nostalgic. I wore really similar hair clips when I was little, so yeah. These were four dollars. Okay, next up I got this belt. It is silver and it has hearts on it. I thought that this looked really awesome with jeans and maybe like a black shirt and then some Doc Martens and stuff. I just think that this is really awesome. I think it's a perfect mix of being girly because like the hearts and being kind of like edgy because it's like a metal belt. So yeah, I just think that this is super cool and really awesome. It makes me feel like I'm a dog, kind of. Not in a weird way. Not like a fetish type of thing. I just really like this belt. So yeah, this was $18, which is kind of expensive now that I think about it. The next thing I got is the most basic Brandy Melville tea in my opinion. This is the infamous black butterfly shirt. This is just a black plain shirt with a orange butterfly patch right in the middle. This was $23, which isn't that much. It's like $5 more than most of their shirts are, but I think that this is really awesome. This is such a staple. I think that any black shirts go well with pretty much anything, which is why I think that this is really awesome. And yeah, definitely would recommend you buying this. Okay, so the next thing I bought was this really cute blue t-shirt. This will probably fit me perfectly. I tried everything on that I bought. This is $18. It's just this really cute light blue tee and it's super soft. I think this will be really awesome to pair with pretty much anything, maybe like this and a scrunchie and like Air Force Ones and some sweatpants, that'll be awesome for like a lazy day. I just really like this shirt. And then I got these really cute like crimson socks. They look knitted and they're really awesome. These are really, really, really soft, which they probably wouldn't look like they'd be that soft, but they really are. And these are $5. And I got these just because I am running out of socks, honestly. And all my socks are from, like, Target or, like, Forever 21. And I just thought, why not get some new socks? Because all mine are old. I have a pair that looks like these, but they're green. And they have holes in the toes. And that's really gross, so I don't want to wear those anymore. Which is why I bought these. Really, really, really soft. Then I got these black socks with flames at the top because it reminds me of the Thrasher t-shirt. I have a Thrasher t-shirt. I think that this will look really awesome with Air Force Ones and my Thrasher t-shirt and maybe some jeans. These are $6. I just really like these. They're, they aren't very soft. 
they seem like pretty sturdy but I really like these and yeah next thing I got is this really awesome black sweater it is cropped at the bottom and it has buttons and it's a v-neck this is $32 which now that I think about it is kind of expensive but I really like this I think that this will look awesome with anything because it's such like a basic item without looking boring if that makes sense I think that this, this will pair awesome with maybe some leggings and some Doc Martens during winter next I have these really cute socks they look really similar to the red ones that I've shown you so far but they're not as soft these are really awesome. It's almost the same color as this shirt that I have. It's just a little bit more baby blue. As you can tell, they're not the same, but they're pretty similar. These are $6. And I just, same thing with the red socks. I think the same thing. Like they're really cute. And my socks are all trashed or missing. So, yeah. And I also got this really cute green dress. It's a v-neck. It reminds me of the blue one that a lot of Visco girls have. This is thir no $28. And it is dark green with really light blue dainty flowers scattered throughout it. And I really like this. I just think that this is super cute and awesome and girly. And I'm trying to be more girly recently just because I've been feeling like being girly. I think that this dress will look awesome with my Birkenstocks, so I got it. Now it's time for jewelry. First off, I got this gold ring. It has an angel on it, which is kind of weird because I don't think that having a dead person resting on your finger is super normal, but this is really awesome. This is $4, which is kind of cheap, so I'm afraid that it might rust and crust a little bit. I also got dangly earrings these have stars on them and they're gold and they are four dollars and I just think that these are really awesome just to make any look look even more amazing I don't know I just think that it could really make a look look extra special and not as ordinary I just really like these and then I also got this really basic really plain <coughs> gold star choker this is $14 which is kind of overpriced but it's fine I just think that it'll look really amazing with everything and yeah I feel like the Brandy Melville in LA isn't as good as the one in SF aka San Francisco I just didn't like what they had there as much as the one in SF so yeah and then now it's time for my silver jewelry because yes I did split them up by if they're gold or silver this is so awesome. These are so awesome. These are black safe safety pins. Safety pin earrings. How did I literally drop those? These are four dollars and I think that they're really awesome and really cute. I just bought some on Depop and they're made by Addy Your Daddy. I got the neon ones. So I was like, why not get black ones so I can have two pairs but different colors. These are just really awesome in my opinion and I really like them. And then I got this really awesome ring. It has a moon on one side and a star on one side. You definitely cannot see. Yeah, I just really like this ring. It is $5. I just thought that it would go with pretty much everything. If you do not know this about me, you pretty much don't know me at all. But I love astrology, astronomy, and anything that has to do with, like, the solar system. So I thought this is really cool and really fantastic. And yeah, so I bought it. Because why not? And then I got this really pretty silver necklace. It has a little butterfly on it. And I just thought that it looked really cool. So I bought it. And it is $6.00. Yeah, really awesome, really cute. And the last thing that I got from Brandy Melville are these little clips. They were 25 cents each, and I got four pink clips and four red clips. I 
just think these are really awesome and nostalgic. Next up, I'm going to be talking about what I got from Urban Outfitters. So the first things I got are these scrunchies. They're velvet, by the way. I just think that these are really awesome and can add a lot to an outfit. They're kind of basic, but I really like them, so yeah. I got like 12 of them because they came in like packs of 6, either 10 or 12. But these are really awesome and really cute in my opinion. The next thing that I got for Urban Outfitters is this really cute shirt from the office and it is a framed picture of like a replica of a painting that is like people in the park but all the people that are in this park are from the office like Angela is right here and then Dwight and Creed and Phyllis and all those people love this shirt it's so cute if you can't see it I'm gonna hold it up yeah, I just really like this shirt, and it's really awesome and amazing. It was $29, and I got it in a size small. And yes, I got it from the men's section. I don't need you to be sexist. There's just nothing very good in the women's section, shirt-wise, in my opinion. So I got it. The next thing that I got from Urban Outfitters is this really cute pair of socks. These are $12, and they're pink ruffly socks. As you can see, the ruffles are right here. I just think that these are super girly and pretty, and I really like them. And, yeah. The third to last thing that I got from Urban Outfitters is this pink and backpack. I got the pink one. I just think that this is really awesome and really cute. And Visco Girls have it, so I am going to have it, or try to have it. This was $80. Oh, that's overpriced. Okay. I just really like it, and I think that it'll fit all of my school stuff for back to school. Second to last thing that I got are these mini pop sockets. They are rose gold. They're, I got three of them, but I took one of them out for my phone case. I got them because they take up less space on my phone case because I got this really awesome angel phone case from Urban Outfitters 2 which is going to be my next thing that I'm showing you. I just think these are really cute and pretty and dainty and girly and awesome. Okay and the last thing from Urban Outfitters that I bought is this really cute phone case from Wildflower Cases of course that has these really cute angels on it and clouds and I just think this is really pretty and I really like it. The next place that I went to was Glossier. I met Marla Catherine there. It was super crazy. She's so sweet and really awesome. I got to take a photo with her. Me and my friend Kalia took a photo and she was so awesome. She did not care that we asked her a photo. She was like so happy to meet us and it's really amazing. She's amazing. I don't know what to say about her but she's fantastic. And the first thing I got from Glossier is this Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen. It has SPF 35 and there is one fluid ounce of product in it, aka 30 milliliters. And this is really awesome. I just really want a sunscreen that feels super light because I burn really easily as I've said many times before in videos. I just got this because I really hoped they would work. I have not used it yet. But yeah, it looks really awesome, and that's all I have to say about it. Sick. Okay. Next thing I got from Glossier is this Super Bounce Serum. It has hyaluronic acid in it and vitamin B5 serum. This has one fluid ounce in it, or 30 milliliters. Is that the same amount as this one? Yeah, this has the same amount of product in them, which is kind of weird because this one looks like it has less. But yeah, this packaging is super awesome and the dropper works really well. I have used this before. It's not my second time purchasing this, it's the first time. But what I'm saying is that I used it like a day ago and it worked really well. My skin is super dry and I got this because I was hoping that my skin would feel a lot more dewy and look a lot more dewy. And it really did that and I really like it. Next thing I got from Glossier is this Glossier Play Night Shine highlighter concentrate in the shade platinum rose this has like barely any product in it it has how many ounces 0 0.34 fluid ounces or 10 milliliters i swatched all of their products at glossier 
I went to the store, by the way. Like I said, it wasn't like online shopping or anything. It has this type of applicator, and it is so awesome. It's such an amazing like rose gold highlighter. It can look really crazy and blinding, and it can also like sheer out to look really natural. I just really like this. The last thing that I purchased from Glossier is the Stretch Concealer in the shade G11. I don't love this concealer. I feel like it's a little bit too light coverage for me. This is one of the only concealers that I feel like is applied best with your finger because, I don't know, I just feel like I usually like to use either a concealer brush or a beauty blender for that type of stuff. But if you just like put your finger into the pot and go like that and dab under your eyes, it looks really awesome. I just wouldn't say that I love it. If it was a little bit more full coverage and a little less natural, I'd probably like it a little bit more. I just feel like Glossier is one of those companies. It's like all our products make your features look enhanced, not like it fixes your face. And the last place that I went to was Sephora. The first thing that I got from Sephora is the Fenty Beauty. Sun Stalker Instant Warmth Bronzer, and I got the shade Shady Biz, which I think is the lightest shade, because your girl is super pale, and this is really awesome. The compact is really awesome, too. Oh, no, I just saw my face in the thingamajig. It doesn't smell like anything. Awesome. But, yeah, I used this once, and it worked super well, and I really like it. And the last thing that I got from Sephora are these three mini Pat McGrath um, mini lipsticks. They came together and I got the shades 1995, Flash 3, and Oh My. I swatched all these and these are really awesome. This is like the best formula ever for lipsticks especially and I just really like these. I hope you guys like this video and if you didn't then comment and if you liked it and like the video. <laughs> Got you there. Just kidding. If you don't like it then dislike it. Love you guys. See you guys later. Bye.